public. I know you love it. That pussy feel like drop top in the rain. Whoa, whoa, drop top in the rain. Whoa, whoa, drop top in the rain. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. I just get emotional because this wig is so long and I just I can't like live. You know, because it's, I mean, I can live, but it's just, it's overwhelming, you know, on how gorgeous this is. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I styled, cut, slayed this hair for today's look. Now, this hair is provided by Divas Wigs. I've worked with Divas Wigs before. Um, they're one of my top favorite wig companies to work with, and they sent me this hair they actually customized this hair for me. I don't even think that this was one of their pieces like on their website. I think I would be the first one to kind of review or try out this hair with this color. Y'all, this color is so bomb and I hate that this camera and the lighting is not doing justice. In the light, it gives off this like aqua blue color and then without any like um, artificial light just in regular natural light um, it kind of gives me like a grayish kind of blue color but nonetheless the color of this hair both ways in the light and not in the light it's still gorgeous so of course as always all the specs on this hair will be in the description box down below let's just hop right into this tutorial on how I style this hair make sure you guys um, leave any comments down below any video ideas that you guys would like me to do you know leave those down below as well Make sure you guys thumbs up this tutorial if it is helpful for you um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Of course. I will see you guys next time Hey y'all, so this is what I'm working with a hot ass mess, but don't worry cuz I'm gonna get myself right so to begin this tutorial on how I slay this wig, I'm gonna start by cutting off the lace. So I start by cutting as close to the hairline as possible without actually cutting off the hairline because that wouldn't be good. That would be really bad actually. So make sure you guys have lots of light when you're doing this and take your time because I fucked up a waist leg before and that was no bueno. So yes, that's what I'm doing right now is just cutting off the lace and then we're going to start the real process, okay? So this is how the lace looks once after I cut it. I don't know why I just said it like that. That was weird. But right now I'm just parting the hair. Um, I had to part it off camera because it was hard. The mirror was too far away from me and I couldn't really get a good look. So to install the wig, I'm going to be using Got To Be Glue and I'm just going to place that with my rat tail comb along my hairline. I'm going to place it a little bit before my hairline just because I want the wig to cover my hair completely. So I just put it a little bit above. Um, and so you could use your fingernail tip or you can use a comb, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want to apply it with. Um, I'm using my finger and rat tail comb. Um, so once I've generously applied it along my forehead, I'll next take my blow dryer and I'm going to have it on the coolest setting and I'm just going to air dry that until it's tacky. So I'm going to repeat this step once more, which is what I'm doing right now or in a second. I'm just kind of testing it to see how tacky it is. But you want to get the tackier it is. This is the key. The tackier it is, the um, the better because then it'll it'll stay longer. The wig will stay longer. So right now I'm just doing the second layer. I'm just repeating it again, putting the got to be glue, and then um, using the cool setting on the blow dryer and blow drying it until it's super tacky. And then next I'm gonna take the got to be freeze hairspray. And then for this one, I only do it once. I don't do it twice like I did the got to be glue. So I'm just going to spray that along my edges. And I'm just, well, I kind of sprayed a little bit before my edges. And then I kind of just brush it back, as you guys can see. Um, so once I do that, I'm going to do the blow dryer once more. And then once I feel like it's super, super tacky, then I'll know, like, okay, it's time to actually pull the wig forward and start aligning it with my 
forehead and making sure it's in place you guys this this process is so easy and so simple like literally this is all I'm doing I pull it and it automatically sticks to my forehead the products that I use are so amazing so I'll def definitely recommend this to anybody who wants to do install these two products are bomb so right now um, what I'm doing is taking a hot comb and combing it down because um, when I receive the wig as you guys can see um, it's a little bit well you know also too because I parted it different than how it came it's going to be a little bulky and it's going to kind of stick up so as you guys can see as I'm pressing it it wants to kind of like resist but as you guys can see the more I do it the more it starts to lay down so I want to get that top as flat as possible and that's how I kind of make it um, that's how I make it look natural so for this style today, I'm just going to do a little bump. You feel me at the ends, like the little 90s bump. Um, and I'm basically just going to show you guys how I straighten the hair. I mean, you guys pretty much, I'm sure all of you guys know how to straighten some hair. <laughs> um, so for this portion of the video, I'm just going to um, straighten it. So I was surprised on how well the hair uh, straightened because of the bleach and all that had that had to go into getting the hair this color I didn't expect it to straighten smooth and it did so I was really happy and excited about that but you guys literally this I've been getting so many compliments on this hair I can honestly say I have probably have gotten the most attention with this hair and I ain't complaining y'all because this hair making me feel like somebody you feel me like I be feeling like I am that bleep you feel me like people be stopping me like what do you do like you must sing or rap like nah I do makeup <laughs> like no for real like I've had people ask me like you have to do some like you have to do something in the industry something in the arts I mean makeup is an art you know but like somebody was just like you have to like you sing or some you rap act some like that and I'm like nah I'm just little old me who loves to do makeup and loves to wear wigs you know um, but I also like that this hair is not one color as you guys can see like I don't even I've honestly have never seen a color like this before like it gives off like bluish like in different lighting it gives off like sometimes a bluish vibe I'm not vibe but a bluish kind of color and then sometimes it give off gives off like more of like a violet like it's really weird but you know I I ain't complaining like I, I love the that it's like m like weird kind of blue purple grayish kind of color it's like three colors in one wig you know um but yeah you guys this this is i'm gonna be rocking this i think i'm gonna rock this wig for new year's like in all honesty like i'm trying to be that bitch up in the party you feel me turning heads okay um but yeah so basically i just fast forward the whole straightening process but you guys already know the deal with that so right now I'm focusing on getting the baby hairs laid and whatnot. So I'm going to be using Got To Be Glue, the same glue that I used to install it. And basically I'm just making my own baby hairs. Um, I'm kind of just trying to mimic how I would, you know, do my or how my baby hairs naturally lay. Um, you know, I got to do a little swoop thing. You feel me? I'm going to also trim it too because it's, the hair didn't come with baby hair so you know I kind of have to cut it to kind of create that illusion of baby hairs I typically for my baby hairs I typically use the um, the argon um, mousse spray that you guys have seen in my previous videos but for today because um, it didn't naturally come with baby hairs the argon mousse was not like the the baby hairs wouldn't stay um, so in this case, I had to use the got to be glue, but the got to be glue worked perfectly because my hair, the baby hairs did not move or anything like that. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of testing to see like how I want it to flow, how I want it to, you know, you know, sit on my face and all of that. Um, you guys, honestly, baby hairs is like a legit like thing. Like it's a process. <laughs> like people be thinking this shit is easy. It's really not. So I'm just, you know, kind of doing the last minute touches on my baby hairs so that they don't look all crazy and whatnot and it looks like you know 
try to make it look as natural as possible as if these the blue hair grew out of my scalp you know that's that's kind of the goal um I'm next going to there's a little bit of flyaways on top of my hair so I'm just going to spray my hair with some got to be glue and that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video ta-ta